Hey church, today we are in 2 Corinthians 1, 3 through 4. Here's what it says. Praise be to the God and Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. I think the question here is, how do we respond in times of trouble or affliction, whether it's at work, whether it's in the relationships with our families, maybe it's a health crisis financially. What do we do? How do we respond? Uh, do we avoid? Do we avoid it? Do we ignore it? Do we medicate it? Uh, just the other day, my daughter came back from a camp that she was in, and one of the girls at the camp kept picking her up and kind of throwing her around and picking on her. And she would ask this girl, hey, put me down. Can you stop it? I don't like that. And um, when she came home, she was telling us this story. And you can tell she was really bothered by it. She was afflicted. She was troubled by this interaction that happened. And what she did as she was speaking is she started crying and ran away. She ran away. She didn't turn to us for comfort. She, we tried to console her and to hold her and to comfort her. And her initial response was to run away and hide. Maybe she was embarrassed. Her feelings were hurt. Um, and so the question to us is, what do we do when we're in trouble, when we're in this time of affliction? And this passage is reminding us uh, that first, the first thing we must do is acknowledge that we're in a time of trouble or affliction and we need God's help. He's the comforter. He's the only place we can find true comfort. And then we need to ask for, for help, and that, that takes vulnerability. Maybe that's why it's difficult, is because we have to be vulnerable with our feelings of inadequacy, of not being able to fix it on our own, and not minimize it, but actually call it what it is and ask for that comfort. Because when we allow God to soothe us and comfort us, um, then we can go out and be people of comfort to those in need. And so be thinking uh, this today, where are you? Uh, do you need God's comfort? in an area of your life, or do you need to go be a comfort to someone else?